And today I'd like to talk about get back. So, you know, back in my younger years, when we talked about, you know, how to deal with someone who hurt you, disrespected you, offended you, we used the word get back. Uh, in the younger generation now, <coughs> the, the, the catchphrase seems to be petty. And so whether you refer to it as petty or you refer to it as get back, today's wisdom is that petty hurts everybody. Everyone is hurt when the game is reduced to petty. You know, you hit me, I hit you back. You disrespect me, I disrespect you back. See, what happens is it's the same thing that you see playing out in like street game violence, right? So the red team shoots somebody from the blue team and then the blue team comes back and shoots somebody from the red team and then it just like never stops. So it's just like nonstop having to look over your shoulders or watch out for cars driving slow by your house because the get back game or the game of petty or I got to hit you back because you hit me, it never stops. It never stops until somebody says, time out. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to continue to engage in a level of pettiness that's going to continue to bring pettiness back to me, right? And so, okay, Shara, so what if the person never stops? What if, what if I take the higher road and that person keeps coming for me? Guess what? You get to score on the board that's called wisdom. Wisdom understands that in order for strife to stop, you got to take pride out of the equation, right? And so what you're doing is you're actually stacking up your points in an area of spiritual strength where you will be able to now start playing chess with the person that's coming for you, right? So they're playing checkers and you're playing chess. You're strategizing ways to solve the underlying issues that kind of brought y'all into that cycle of pettiness to begin with. That's wisdom. Why? Because you're going to start looking for ways and uncovering solutions to the deeper issues. See, one thing that I learned when I was a young woman was that I used to argue with my dad all the time. He said something, I said something back. I had clapped back for my dad all the time because he didn't understand me and I heard him, but I wanted to be understood, right? But then one day I got a revelation. He can't argue by himself for that long. <laughs> so what I began to do, I said, you know what? I'm going to go in here knowing that there's going to, he's going to start fussing. But he's only going to fuss for so long when I just stand there and I give him nothing back. That broke the cycle of back and forth between my father and I. And that's the same principle that will apply in your family situation. If you're finding yourself in cycles of strife, you pull out and refuse to give petty back for petty. This is Shar Selassie serving our families and our community for more than 12 years, loving you and loving your family's future for healing.